What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Silver Wolves here. In this video, I'll be reviewing one of my favorite silver coin series from Ghana, Giants of the Ice Age. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the review. in the silver coin series to get into you might find this one interesting this is a eight coin series scheduled to be released at a rate of two coins per year the coins are centered around animals that lived during the pleistocene period or in layman terms the last great ice age about 12 to 11 thousand years ago they were minted in germany at a place called the lev lev on behalf of the bank of ghana therefore they are a sovereign coin with a denomination of five cedas. In America dollars, that equals 87 cents. So if you're planning on going to Ghana and selling your coins at a local LCS, I really highly uh, discourage that, um, you know, in case you're thinking of going to Ghana. So, so um, there is a limited mintage of 15,000 for each coin. Um, they measure 38.6 in circumference and they weigh in at one ounce and are three nines fine, like sherry wine. So now that we got those details out of the way, um, the first one in the series, the most instantly recognized beast of the era, the Woolly Mammoth. So the Woolly Mammoth was released in 2019. Um, I bought two of them from eBay. They both came in an Atmex sealed bag. I kept one sealed actually. And uh, first coin in the series are always the um, toughest ones to find. Um, so that's why I got two of them. So um, the best feature I like about this series is the changing identifier around the outside of the rim of the coin. Um, so there's no excuse as to which one <laughs> comes first or last. Uh, I guess you could kind of guess what animals are going to come next. Um, so now in the description... Um, on your major online bullion sites, it, they don't mention that the coin is, is proof-like, but they do have a very proof-like, like, like visual to them. Um, they're, I mean, you can almost see my face in the reflection on the coin here. Uh, so on the reverse side of these coins, you have the, um, the Ghana, uh, Royal Coat of Arms and the, um, denomination of five cedas. Now again, you can see, uh, you can kind of see my background there. It's a very shiny finish. And my thumbprint, of course. I should have used gloves with this. Anywho. So the details are very fine. You could almost, uh, you could see the hairs of the mammoth. Nice mountainous background. All right, so let's move on to the next coin. So the next one, we have the Great Megalosaurus, or Giant Deer. As you can see, the uh, it's punched out on the um, identifier on the rim of the coin there. Looks like he's howling for his mate. Some nice forest in the background. This series would be great for kids if you want to get them into silver coins. Imagine hunting that down. You could have meat for a year. So the third in the series, we have the saber-toothed cat. It's actually called cat and not uh, tiger. Now the second round was produced in 2020. Um, so I guess the 
let's see, there's, there's four right now. I'm still waiting on the fifth. I think they're kind of late, uh, running behind schedule there, maybe because possibly the sea bug. And last one, the cave bear. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I love bears. Um, not sure what the designer was thinking when he struck this particular coin. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in the image. It looks whimsical, comical to me. Um, get your guys' thought on that. It's, yeah, I'm not too happy about this coin. Um, so looking forward to the second one. Hopefully they do a little bit better job in the imagery. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this particular series. And looking forward to sharing some uh, new pickup I got recently. Uh, should be out about um, Sunday. And hopefully you guys have a great weekend if you don't hear from me. Thank you.